So if you've done the proper research here to answer the question of how long does it take to learn to code to land that first job, you've probably seen stories ranging anywhere from four months in the low end all the way up to two years. So that begs the question, like what are realistic expectations? Should you expect something like four months or should you dig in for the long haul and expect something like two years? From my experience of working with people who are trying to do this, there are four main factors that come into play that will dictate whether you can shoot for four months or whether you should expect something longer. So the first and most significant factor that comes into play is your previous technical and logical problem solving experience. For example, I've worked with people who are mechanical engineers, so they have technical experience. They usually have really good logical problem solving skills. Something like that just picks things up and moves at a very rapid pace. They learn things very, very quickly because they already think like a programmer in many regards. So if you have that, your learning curve is gonna be closer to something in that four month range, where on the flip side, if you don't own a computer, you're not very computer literate, or you don't have a lot of logical problem solving experience, that's going to stretch things out because you're like somebody who hasn't stepped into a gym in a very long time, and you want to be big and muscular and you're 100 pounds soaking wet, it's gonna take you a long time. You just have a longer road ahead of you. The second most significant factor here is your game plan. So do you have a game plan that really spells out what you're doing today, tomorrow, this week, next week, next month, that's leading towards you getting a job, right? Do you know when you're gonna start applying for jobs and what that's gonna look like? How are you gonna start applying for jobs? How are you gonna prepare for a technical interview, for example? If you don't have a plan, so if you're just gonna buy some courses and hope that you know eventually you just kinda of maybe land on the job, that's where you're gonna fit in that range where you're gonna spend a year, a year and a half, two years or more doing this because you don't really know exactly what you're gonna do. And you're gonna spend a lot of time doing this, maybe you work really hard, but it's just all over the place. On the other end of the spectrum, if you do a lot of research, if you put together a plan, so you know what projects you're gonna be building, you know sort of like a stack that you're gonna be focusing on, you know you have a date when you're gonna start applying, maybe you have a mentor, maybe even go to like a boot camp or something like that, which obviously has a clear plan for you, that's where you're gonna be more organized, where you're gonna really put your best effort forward and it's gonna to be towards something where you can expect something on that shorter end of four months, or maybe it's something like six months or eight months. But that's where I see people get in that shorter end of things. The next most significant factor at play here that I've heard shapes anywhere from three to six months off of this is actually to subscribe to my YouTube channel, oddly enough. So go down below, hit the subscribe button, also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Alrighty, now all joking aside, the third factor that comes into play is consistency. So for example, you could have a great background in this, you could have technical experience, logical problem solving, you have a great game plan, but if you aren't consistent with this, if you don't have consistent effort, it's going to take a long time for you. For example, I see this a lot, people get really excited about this, the first month they just put in 60, 70 hours a week, they barely sleep, they're hopped up on caffeine, and about month one, they burn out. And so they have to take like two weeks or a month off. Well, guess what? That time that you're taking off, you lose a lot of momentum. You lose a lot of effort. This is the type of skill that you have to really take a long enough period of time, a really consistent effort to build the fundamentals, to really let that sink in. So if you are burning out, if you're taking time off, or you just have life events that are distracting you from this, it's gonna take a long time. So consistency is key, even if it's just a small amount of time every single day. So the last factor that actually does come into play is luck. So I'll give you an example. I had somebody who came in the program and they had that previous technical experience. They were just really honest, they were kind of a genius. They just had that brain for being thinking like a programmer. They had a great game plan. They set them up with a plan that I've seen work for a lot of people. They were consistent with this, but they didn't have a lot of luck. So when they actually started applying for jobs after that four month mark, they just couldn't get quite the right fit. And so it took them maybe like, I think it was about a year or a year and a half to actually get that first job. Right, so they just didn't have a lot of luck. Where on the other end of the spectrum, I've seen people with, they, they had okay previous experience, they had a pretty good game plan, they were pretty consistent with it, and they got a job after that four months because they knew somebody in the industry or they just found a company who was like, okay, you know, you got it good enough and we're gonna hire you. It's just a little bit of luck there. Now, some of you are obsessed with luck and you think this is the only thing at play. Look, the, the two things you can control is your game plan, make sure you do enough research or hiring a mentor or something like that, and then how much effort you put in this and how consistent you are. If you focus on those two things, luck will eventually come your way. Now, if you're one of those people who's committed to the path of being a self-taught program, programmer and you're interested in being a client in my mentorship program, you want to inquire about that, I will leave a link in the description below of how you can do that. That link will help you to book a call with me. That call is an intake call to evaluate whether or not things are a good fit. So I'm going to ask you about your goals, really try to figure out where your current problems are. If things are a good fit, I can really break down the mentorship program, the investment, that sort of thing. So definitely make sure to do that if you're interested. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and peace out everybody. Peace.